Hi everybody, today I wanted to show you a delicious, easy, healthy recipe for yummy, soft, delicious pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. This is like my absolute favorite recipe. It's really easy. So there are only five ingredients in this entire recipe, so I think you guys will enjoy it. The first is a spice cake mix, which you can get at the grocery store. And then you need some chocolate chips. You can get semi or milk chocolate chips. And one egg and 15 ounces of pumpkin puree. This is more than that, but you can use 15 ounces. And then pumpkin pie spice. The first thing that you need to do before you even get mixing or anything like that is you need to set your oven and get it warming up to 350 degrees. And then you need to mix all of your ingredients together. So you just put the spice cake mix in a bowl and it's so nice because everything's already in there like the flour sugar all the flavoring that sort of thing and then after you have that you have you add one egg i hope you guys are impressed because i did all of this with my left hand <laughs> and then you need to add pumpkin pie spice just one teaspoon is all that you need for that and then after that you need to add i think i'm struggling you need to add the pumpkin puree so it's 15 ounces Okay, so like I was saying, you need to add 15 ounces of the pumpkin puree, and then you need to add one bag of chocolate chips. So I actually had milk chocolate chips and semi-chocolate chips. That's all I had left over, but all you need to do is mix that all together. And now after you've mixed it all together, it kind of looks like gloopy and all of that, but that's a good sign because it means it's going to be very, very soft and very moist. So I just take a teaspoon and you can make them as big or as small as you like. And then I put it on a baking sheet. I usually put aluminum foil or parchment paper on so that the cookies don't stick to the tray. And now that I have all of these cookies on the tray, this recipe makes about two dozen. Um, I'm going to put it into the oven. So here I am again trying to do everything with just my left hand. <laughs> so let's see how. Okay, so then after that you just put it in the oven. And then... Let me try to do that again with my left hand. You close the oven, forgive me for my dirty oven, and then you can put it into the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. And it's really easy to cook, so you don't have to worry about it like burning or anything like that. But it should be about 10 to 12 minutes in the oven. And here is the final product. I know they're not the most amazing looking, but they are so incredibly tasting. And like I said earlier, they are very healthy. So thanks for watching, you guys, and hope you guys have a good day.